Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking you through three different techniques of um, watercolor. So the first is going to be painting with a pan of dried watercolor. I'm only going to be using yellow and orange because I want it to stay consistent throughout. All three are going to be painted the same way. So we're going to start with um, a water wash down over the whole circle and we're going to just add in the paint and drops. I'm gonna take my yellow first and I'm gonna actually go ahead and just cover the whole circle um, and blend my orange into one side. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing with all three because I want it to stay a consistent experiment. I wanna see the difference in uh, color vibrancy and how it reacts when I blend with all three. Watercolor naturally is pretty pale, so this pan of dry watercolor is uh, kind of reacting pretty pale, so I'm going to add a little bit more and just see if I can darken it a little bit. You always clean your brush out between each color you do, even if they're very close. Even though orange is really close to yellow, you still need to wash your brush out very uh, frequently to keep it clean. And I always dry it off on the rim as well so it doesn't get too wet. Now I'm not loving how kind of muted this is, but again, watercolor tends to be a more muted medium. And so I'm just spreading it out, trying to create, seeing how blendable it is and how comfortable I feel um, extending out that orange just a little bit to see, I want it to blend right into that yellow so you can't even see the seam. All right, so we're gonna go to the second one and this is gonna be liquid watercolor. Sorry, my containers are messy and well-loved. Um, you're gonna do the same thing here. Fill it with water. We're gonna drop our yellow down and then our orange. You'll notice a definite difference here with color vibrancy. Liquid watercolor is very vibrant. So watch as this yellow goes down so much brighter than that dry pan of watercolors and these are not fancy watercolors by any means these are um you know like student grade watercolors so i'm not doing any fancy watercolor here no uh, fancy products nothing these are what i use with my um, students in all of my classes you're gonna drop it down. You can already see a major difference in how much it spreads. Um, because it's a liquid watercolor, when you add water and then liquid watercolor on top of it, it is going to spread way more than the dry um, because it's wet on wet, a true wet on wet. I'm gonna blend it out, but already you can tell a massive difference between the dry pan and these liquid watercolors again this is student grade liquid watercolors these are not um high-end brands at all blending it out loving how bright vibrant it is making this one go a little bit darker but look how easy it is to blend i would have to say liquid watercolors are probably one of the um, best beginner friendly watercolors. It's actually one of the mediums I first started working with when I first started learning um, watercolors. And that is kind of what brought me into this next stage, which is watercolor in a tube. Those act a little bit like, uh, you know, a really kind of like acrylic uh, almost. And so it's almost like an acrylic watercolor base what you do with those is you squirt them out onto some kind of non-porous surface they can dry up completely they will be reactivated with water i'm doing the same thing here as i did with the other ones just covering the whole thing with water dropping down little bits of yellow i love the richness of color that this one gives it's just a different shade of yellow slightly different even though they're similar but already you can notice too, just between um, these three, the liquid watercolors and the watercolor in the tubes, um, which I definitely had to get used to because I was so used to the liquid watercolors, um, they're very similar in how vibrant they are. So liquid and the tubed watercolors are very close to one another. 
Again, the biggest difference between all three is just the dry pan is a lot more pale. And that is actually what I grew up learning on was the dry pan. And I think that's for a very, very, very long time. I didn't really like watercolors because I didn't like that I couldn't get it very vibrant. I could never get it um, deep, rich colors until I uh, tried liquid watercolors and then I loved it. Now I primarily use the two watercolors. Look at that soft blend. All right, so that is all three of them. That is the main difference between the three. So you can go from here and you can choose what best will work for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching.